everyone, it's Jen from You So Much, and today I'm going to talk about something that a lot of copywriters use. It's a well-known secret, so, you know, it's not really a secret, I guess, that they use something called swipe files. And this is something that I find so valuable. And basically what it is, is it was kind of a term that came up with in the old direct response days when a sales letter had proven results. And so copywriters would take that letter and they would put it in their file, and then they would look back at it and look at how... The, that letter was written and why it got the results that it did and then steal some of the elements from that letter for their own letters. But really you can use swipe files for anything. If you're a designer, you can take screenshots of something that you see online that you really love. Uh, and I recommend this if you're starting your own business and you're trying to get a feel for your brand and your image, you can take screenshots of things that you love that speak to you. So what the first thing I recommend you do is have a file on your computer. Have a place where you can take screenshots or you can use Snagit or something like that. The other thing you can do is is keep a notebook and that's one thing I do too is anytime I have I see something a headline or whatever and I can't just take a screenshot of it or a photo of it I'll quickly jot it down in my notebook and one of my favorite things to do is to use magazines to um, go through and look for fun headlines and I love magazines personally I, I'm just a total magazine junkie and so it's for me it's a good excuse for me to go through my favorite magazines right so have a little pleasure along with a little bit of work. And I'll go through a magazine and I'll just write down ideas. Now, the other place that I really like to look at and swipe ideas from is emails. I always notice when I see an email that captures my attention. I look at the subject line and the email itself. And there are a few people I can think of that always have really, really, really great emails. And I always examine those really, really closely to find out what it is about that email that captured my attention. What made me read through the entire thing? And it's not always a subject line. There's lots of different things, elements in the emails that really you can swipe ideas from. So again, it doesn't have to necessarily just be a headline. You know, it can be, you know, anything that you see that you want to steal. Write it down, but have a place to keep it all. So have a notebook or a Google Docs file or something where you can have ideas that you swipe take and save for a later day. Now the idea here is to have a great place to go to when you need some inspiration and ideas. So it's not to steal the headlines exactly or whatever it is you're you're you know you're swiping right it's to modify them to the project that you're working on so you obviously want to consider the audience that you're speaking to and what you're talking about and so things are going to change but it's a really great place to get ideas and toggle your brain and what I can remember a couple projects that I've worked on where I had the whole sales letter completely written out and I just was having a hard time like getting that perfect headline and I went back to my swipe files and I was like that's it that's the perfect headline. It wasn't obviously exactly the same, but it was the style or it was the way that it was, you know, phrased or it, there was some kind of intrigue or curiosity that was like perfect for the project I was working on. The other reason why I really love doing this is because in a way for me, it's another great way to fantasize, right? Because I will often come across headlines that are really, they were written by a world-class copywriter. They're amazing headlines that fit so well on the page and just taking one of those and putting it in my own file is like a source of inspiration and fantasy for myself as another aspiring world-class copywriter, right? So, and the more that you can have great copywriting surrounding you, the better your own copywriting is going to be. And so that's another reason why I really, really love doing this. So what I would love for you guys to do just for fun is to grab the nearest magazine, the one that's closest to you, you can see right now, grab it, open it up and jot down a few ideas of headlines you're getting from the magazine and then take your favorite one and put it in the comments below. And when we're done, we'll all have more headlines that we can add to our own swipe files. Thanks so much, you guys. And don't forget to write down your own fantasies because words make it real.